My name is Alexis Fraser, AKA Lipstick Lex. So I started using lipstick and kiss prints for my art uh, back in 2012. Traditionally, I was always an oil painter. I specialized in portraiture. That was sort of my go-to subject matter. And I was challenged to create this huge portrait of Marilyn Monroe. And I was challenged to create it in a non-traditional way, an unconventional way that still correlated with Marilyn Monroe. She was such a sex symbol of her time and she was always blowing her kisses. So the idea of creating her out of lipstick, which is just such a glamorous, feminine medium and kisses just made sense. I think I knew early on, I shouldn't say I knew, my husband knew before I did. He kept saying, Lex, this is like a golden nugget and you need to do something with it. He really wanted me to focus 100% on just my lipstick art. I was once that artist that was like trying to like juggle two different brands and two different types of art. And then I decided, you know what, like if I wanna stand out in a sea of artists, which I do, then I need to go with this lipstick art. My family is an extremely supportive family. I have very supportive parents, I have very supportive in-laws, I have a very supportive husband, very supportive friends. So my close circle were all about it. They all know my talent, they all know what I'm capable of doing and I think they all believe in that and believe in what I can achieve. So they were all like really excited about it. People either love it or some people think it's a little quirky. I don't expect to appeal to everybody and I'm okay with that. It is a little bit obscure, but that's what I like about it. So the process starts like any piece of artwork. I conceptualize the idea, I sketch it out onto my, I paint on what's called clay board. So it's a hard canvas-like surface, but it's not actual canvas. Then I usually will fill in the main parts of the image with the kiss prints. So that's the bulk of it. But then for details, for if I'm doing a face, for example, and I'm painting eyelashes or the creases in the mouth, things like that, I actually will draw with the lipstick tube directly. And then I'll use my paint brushes to kind of work out the details and maybe do some smudging or feathering in. And then last, when the piece is finished, I coat every piece that I create with an epoxy resin and that prevents any fading, smudging, um, and UV damage from occurring. A lot of people want to know about how many tubes I go through. I did a large mural that was five feet by ten feet wide. It was a beauty campaign that was taking place in Hong Kong. This piece I used about, I think it was over 35 tubes of lipsticks or something around that that I used for that. I've done the landscapes, I've done the cityscapes, I've done portraits, animals, flowers. I enjoy all of them but I think portraiture is where my heart's at. I really love painting faces and I think the challenge behind creating a portrait and the accuracy behind it, that excites me and I have fun doing it and I get like a big like jolt of accomplishment when I can create a portrait and do it well. That's probably my first favorite and then my second favorite is honestly florals because there's really no right or wrong. I kind of just like have fun with it. The message behind my art is all about the idea of spreading love and positivity and happiness and um, it's also, I paint with a very feminine medium and I have a very feminine audience and I attract these women and I also pull together empowerment and female empowerment to everything that I do as well. So, you know, it's the empowerment, it's the happiness, it's spreading love, it's about self-love. Um, so it's all those feel-good, happy vibes that are all kind of rolled into what I do. For me, female empowerment means first and foremost, learning to love yourself. And when you can love yourself, then you can share that love with others.